What does my granddaughter want? I want ice cream. I know such a recipe. It's fried ice cream. Yes. Hmm. To get the ice cream of the desired consistency, it needs to be finely chopped into pieces. Whoa. Um, it's easy. Grandma, and I can do that too. Ch 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 fish, easiest pie. Watch your knives, young lady. And don't throw food around the kitchen. Okay. That's what happens when amateurs get to work. No, that's not good. I'll make it according to the original recipe. Okay. You need to pour the milk and cream on a flat surface. Cut any berries. I have strawberries. And add to the milk base. Now you can chop everything well. When the mass hardens, you can cut it and twist it into rolls. I can do that too. Cut and twist. Nothing complicated. Now I'll put it in a glass and decorate it. I'll add whipped cream. It looks a little pale. I'll decorate it with rainbow skittles. A sugar straw for beauty and Oreo cookies. Now grandma will also cut her ice cream into pieces. Awesome! Perfect. Let's put it inside. I'll pour strawberry sauce on them. Yeah. Grandma, you're doing it wrong. And the sauce is also useful to me. And also put marmalade berries on top. And I'll also put some berries. Strawberries and then blueberries. I'll decorate everything with sprinkles. Ta-da! Perfect. Awesome! <laughs> How terrible. Here, Jane, watch and learn. You can decorate ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon will be perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Lemon peel can be used to make an unusual decor. Yes! Add a little ice to keep the ice cream shape in longer. Wow! And for serving, as in the most expensive Whoa. restaurants, I will use dry ice. I'll add some smoke and put it under the lid. Perfect. Voila. What a beauty came out from the chef. Awesome. Incredible. Yeah, grandma's ice cream doesn't look so impressive. There are so many ingredients in a cup from my sister. But let's see what kind of ice cream baby Gloria will like the most. I want this one. Mmm, there's strawberries and cream. Very tasty. Um, what a fuck. What's there? That's just what I wanted. How much smoke? Ugh. No, mm, it's sour. It looks strange. Doesn't taste very good either. I choose this one. Hooray! This is mine! Grandma, Gloria's asking to eat. I want a lollipop. Here's such a multicolored one. All right, all right. Oh, Grandma can see well, but okay. I used to do something like that. You need to boil the caramel. To do this, take sugar and add it to the water. And now you need to stir it all the time. Do you know the recipe too, Emma? Then repeat. <laughs> They're always fighting. So it seems that nothing is complicated. Sugar and water. Put it in a saucepan. Okay. Oh. Let's mix it. You need to check the temperature of the caramel before pouring into the malts. Otherwise, it may crack. Okay. Perfect. Now you can distribute it into molds. Add rainbow shades as Gloria has asked. Yeah, grandma, watch and learn. Precisely. Gloria wanted a colorful lollipop. Yes, I have a natural dye. Grandma, you're so strong! Grandma is also not capable of that. Here, now you can pour it into molds. I will insert the sticks before the caramel is frozen. So, the caramel has frozen. Now you can take out the lollipops. Whoa! Grandma likes it! I'll twist the caramel into one of these bundles. And now I'll twist it into a large lollipop. Just like that. 
Perfect. Whoa. Wow. Oh, it smells like something burnt. This is my caramel! It burned down. Granddaughter, you're such a slop. What should I do? Well, I can sculpt too. My sister has jars of colorful plasticine. I'll make the sausages out of them and twist them into a thin tourniquet, as Emma did. I'll get a rainbow lollipop too. Um, it's an edible, true, but beautiful. Everything is ready. Okay. Perfect. What will you choose, Gloria? Candy from grandma? A plasticine miracle from your sister? Or candy from the chef? I want, I want, I want this. Mm? It looks normal. Mm, what a strange taste it has. Oh. I'll try this one. Strange, it smells like my plasticine. I'll try. Yeah, this is my plasticine. Who are my plastics and jars? Oh, what a beauty! <gasps> Very sweet and beautiful. I choose this one. Hooray! I've cooked this. And now I want to eat chips. Yeah, this is a simple dish to prepare. Sister Jane, the chef and grandma enthusiastically set to work. That's it. And now I'll cut the potatoes into thin circles. Hey, I don't have such a thing. And what should I cut with? We need to find something suitable. Um, um. Oh, found it! My comb. What a nightmare. And what? Just look at how beautiful the slices have turned out. <laughs> no, Jane. I'll make beautiful chips. Okay. Look what kind of device I order for myself. With it, you can cut potatoes into spirals. Impale on sticks. And that's what will come out. Big deal. Grandma is better the old-fashioned way. Fry potatoes in a frying pan. She asked for chips, not fried potatoes. And I'll cook spirals in a dip fryer. Dip fryer? I'll do that too. Finally, everything is ready. It only remains to serve it beautifully. With paprika and salt. Granny is gonna do that too. And my trick is to pour more ketchup. All you need is salt. Here, granddaughter, eat. Grandma's chips smell so delicious. The sister chips also look good. But the chips from the chef are just gorgeous. Where should I start? What is this? So much ketchup. Jane probably cooked it. She loves ketchup. It's okay, you can eat it. Is that fried potatoes? Mm. Not at all what I wanted. Wow, how cool! They taste amazing! Delicious! I choose them! Yeah, I have a one! What is this thing? I want each of you to cook a donut for me! It'll be done! This will be the darkest donut! What won't you do for your beloved granddaughter? I think that cooking donuts in a special device is very convenient and fast. You just need to pour the dough. Oh yeah, I can do that. Only my donuts will be color because it's so much more fun. Cool. Granddaughter, you're such a dreamer. <sighs> yeah, there's too much snot. See what a real donut should be like. They're black, but they're probably delicious. <laughs> the black color is the best combined with red. So I'll pour red glaze on my donuts. And I'll add a little white on top. Right now. Let's do this. So they will become even more beautiful. And help me. Bring me a deep plate right now. I'll pour strawberry syrup in it. What? Perfect. Then I'll put in sandwiches. What for? 
Now you'll see for yourself. <laughs> hey! Granny, do you want a trick? Look, this is blood. Who was carrying a lady like that? Come on, it's just syrup. I'm trying for your granddaughter's sake. I want her to taste not only delicious, but also beautiful donuts. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. What? If they had brought that to me, I would have fainted for sure. Now I'll show you how normal donuts should look like. Firstly, there's absolutely no need to make them black. And for beauty, a little powdered sugar will be enough. Just look at how beautiful it is. Awesome! <laughs> oh. Beauty is my donuts. One look at them is enough to cheer yourself up. But to make them even more fun, why not add a little bright sprinkle? However, first you need to open this damn jar. Oh, come on! Oh, yeah, Rebecca, you did open the jar. Now look how much more cheerful you are. The main thing is that it got on the donuts. Margo, it's time to pick a winner. Oh, Wednesday made donuts in her own style. They look pretty creepy, but in fact, they are very tasty. And Sirius with syrup, it's a great idea. Awesome. Grandma, now I'm going to try your donuts. I won't lie, they're so so. Too simple. Oh, but Rebecca's donuts look much more interesting. I hope they taste good too. <sighs> mm, these are the most delicious donuts that I've ever tried! You're the winner! Oh, I love you too, Margot! Hmm. Oh, Wednesday, stop scaring an old lady! In this round, you have to make a cocktail for me. Delicious and beautiful. Okay. It will be done. <laughs> no problem. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh. A win-win option is to make a cocktail from what Margot loves most. For example, you can start with toxic waste candies. But I don't need the lollipops themselves. I need to make these candies turn into a liquid mass. In general, I need to melt them. Perfect. Now it's time to add candy Skittles. Wow! Let's do this. There can be no doubt about it, everyone loves these sweets. But first, they need to be divided by color, so that after they are beautifully distributed among our colored and delicious cups. And now it's time for the Sprite. Let's pour it in. It'll be the basis of the cocktail, only now it is almost impossible to open it. I'll use a hairpin for this. Oh, how so? Wet and sweet. Poor Rebecca. I'm all right. I just took a Sprite shower, but that's not all. What kind of cocktail without whipped cream? And a little candy won't hurt. Ta-da! My masterpiece is ready. Oh, you're so great. But your cocktails are not healthy at all. And Margot needs vitamins, so the cocktail should be as useful as possible. Vitamins are mostly in vegetables, so why not just make a vegetable cocktail? Perfect. Uh -huh. It smells great. I'm sure Margot will be absolutely delighted. <laughs> I doubt that. I'll start making my cocktail with strawberry syrup. I'll pour it into a glass so that it immediately becomes much more beautiful. Then the spray will go into action, which I will touch up a little with the help of green syrup. Can't. I need your help again. Still some whipped cream for me. <laughs> Someday I'll crush this thing. It's so creepy. Hey. And it stole my cream. Thank you. You did everything right. And they're just joking. Finally, I'll add cream to the cocktail and, of course, why not decorate it with a marmalade eye? In my opinion, it turned out cool. Margot, decide which cocktail is the winner. Wednesdays always has the most original one. Okay. Let's see. Mm. You've got a very delicious cocktail. Marmalade is just the cherry on the cake. More precisely, an eye. Oh. Grandma, have you made a mixture of all the vegetables again? You know I can't stand this stuff. Blah, disgusting. Oh. And my sister came up with something cool again. Let's try how it tastes. Amazing. Rebecca, you have one again. 
<laughs> Hooray! Don't worry, someday you'll be lucky. <laughs> Surprise me with delicious pasta this time. Okay. Uh -huh. I have a couple of thoughts. <gasps> oh, pasta? Oh, oh, okay. Hissily, there's nothing easier than cooking spaghetti for my granddaughter. Do you know how I'll know that the water in the pot is hot? A hand will help me. Never repeat it at home because the thing does not feel the heat at all. Although, it's still unpleasant for it. Creamy oh. spaghetti is boring. Why don't I cook them myself? I have flour. <laughs> oh. oh, now everyone has flour. Don't yell, Grandma. I didn't mean to. We need to knead the dough. And to do this, you need to add raw eggs. Oh um, oh. Then roll it all thoroughly. So, the foundation is ready. It's time to color the dough so that the spaghetti turns out bright. Next, you need to roll out the dough in a special machine. And then cut it into spaghetti nits. So my color pasta will be ready soon. Even store raw spaghetti can be cooked with a lump. However, because of this steam, I can't see anything at all. Rebecca, did I overdo with the ketchup? No, Grandma, you didn't even open it. Oh, what am I? Oh, what a horror! Oh, Wednesday. Look, you usually like this kind of spectacle. Oh, Rebecca, thanks for the napkin. I'll finally be able to continue cooking pasta. Have very little left to add ketchup to the spaghetti. Delicious, but so boring. Do you know how to make spaghetti more interesting? We need to paint them black. Grandma gave me an interesting idea. Why not add horror to my portion with ketchup and an eye? I do like this idea. It's very scary. Another thing is my color pasta. Hope Margot will appreciate it. Nice. <laughs> Wednesday, will you stop scaring me already? The food is, again, very interesting, but this is not pasta. Grandma, but you make classic spaghetti with ketchup. It's pretty delicious. You're my girl. I wonder what Rebecca has come up with. I hope these spaghetti are not only beautiful, but also delicious. Awesome! <gasps> I try specially for you. Rebecca, you've won again! Hooray, I'm lucky. Hmm. Wednesday, I almost forgot. I brought a hairpin especially for you. I think it'll suit very well. I don't wear such things. Oh. And this time, prepare Caesar salad for me. Okay. Easy. I can cook salads. I'll try. For Caesar, the main thing is not to spare cabbage. Some chicken? And of course, rat crackers, which are too contracted to me because they're too tough. And some grated cheese on top. I know Margot adores it. I'll make a spring gift for Margot. It won't be Caesar, but I think she'll like my edible flowers on long stems. <gasps> Wednesday, look! What a cool idea! Nothing cool. Here's my idea, and it's really cool. I'll make a salad right in the pepper. I'll paint all the ingredients there. Be sure to make a tongue out of cucumber, and I'll make eyes out of olives. Look what a cute frog I got. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see what you have prepared this time. Rebecca, you've come up with something really cool. But it tastes like the most ordinary vegetables. Here, Granny knows how to cook delicious Caesar. And today's no exception. It's very tasty. Wednesday, are those olives? I can't stand them! Grandma, congratulations on your victory! Oh, finally! I've been waiting for so long! Hey, get together! Okay. I want the most delicious cake! Wow! Cool! I'll make the coolest one! Nice! Anything? Easy, I'm a professional. Yes! What kind right, of cake right, without right, delicious right. cream? 
Carefully put another cake, another layer of cream, and another cake, and another, and another. Hmm, let's see. I'll do something interesting. Great, a heart cake with for my beloved Margot. I'll decorate it a little. Let's take a Kit Kat and some cream. Hmm, it turned out well. Perfect. And I'll add some chocolates on top. Margot will like it. Now I'll show you how a cake should look like. Cut it in half. Put one half on the other. Cut out the middle. And then turn it over. Now I'm going to use the colored cream. It will make the cake look even more like a rainbow. I will align the cream a little and make beautiful fluffy clouds yes! next. Perfect. I'll add cute eyes and a mouth. This is how a real masterpiece looks like. You have no chance. <laughs> it is not necessary that the cake is beautiful. The main thing is that it's delicious. Ah, perfect. What? This mountain doesn't even look like a cake. I'm not done yet. Now my cake will also become bright. Milk colored chocolate. Aha. Let's then add some sparkles. And some more, cause girls love sparkles. Wow, that's so cool. Perfect. My cake will definitely win. Wow, it's not a bad idea, but my cake is still better. Wow, what a beautiful bright cake. Perhaps I'll start with it. Awesome. How delicious! I'll try grandma's cake next. Mm. Mm, my favorite sweets and chocolate. Perfect. Yes. Um, what kind of weird cake is this? We'll try it. Uh, it doesn't taste good. No. So the cake from the chef has won. I told you I'd win. What? And it fix your cap. Let's see who makes the best chocolate with marshmallows. Woo! Perfect. Okay. Easy as pie. Yes. I'll do it. Well, why are we sitting? We need to start cooking. My secret to delicious hot chocolate is that I add Margot's favorite chocolate to it. I'll mix it well. Yes! Add some Hershey's. Incredible. Let's mix it again and... I'm going to pour it into the mug that Margot gave me. Look what a beauty with my portrait. Oh my! Big deal. A mug. You don't understand. Now I'll try how I did it. Mm, delicious. Um, okay, as you wish. Okay. Real hot chocolate should be drunk from such glasses, not from mugs. I'll pour hot chocolate now. Okay, you need to whisk the cream and make a beautiful fluffy hat and decorate it with marshmallows. This is how hot chocolate should look like. <laughs> don't touch it with your hands. Um, what should I do? A can of cream. I'll need it. How delicious. We need to make a bigger hat and more marshmallows. Ah, perfect. And also add some candy. Maybe some Oreos. All right, all right, and chocolate all right. sauce. Ah, some cookie sticks. No one has done this for sure. Well. I'll try hot chocolate first from this participant. How many marshmallows? It's so good! It's impossible to stop! Oh, I gave this mug to grandma. <laughs> Although her hot chocolate is so so. I need a straw for this glass. Mmm, delicious! We need to think a little. And Andy wins! Hooray! I'm a real master! Oh, I'm juggling. This time, I want some yes! chips. Wow! How to cook them? I only know how to eat them. Oh, time without your professional Let's tricks. Stare. I'll keep an eye on you. Duh. Um, what should I do? Okay. It's simple. Look, we take the potatoes, we peel them like this, then cut them like this. Turn on the stove, pour oil, and put the potatoes in. Well, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Uh, I see. Well, hold on, potato. Ha! 
Now, let's add more oil. There's no time to wait. I'll turn on the stove immediately to the maximum. The lid will be useful for protection. Throwing potatoes, take care. Oops. Um, it seems like it was a bad idea. Be careful, Andy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it turned out perfectly. Mm. Oh my. Ordinary chips. <laughs> my chips will be really excellent. Let's take the tortillas. Cut them carefully. Now I'm going to take some oil. You still won't be able to repeat after you're a professional. Hit the oil and fry the sliced tortillas until golden brown. And now, what kind of nachos without cheese? I'm gonna put some nachos on the plate and then melt the cheese. This already looks so good. We'll pour the sauce over our nachos. Decorate with lime slices and you're done. This is an excellent dish. I won't be so happy that early. Hey! Oh, I completely forgot about them! Ugh, they should be put on a plate. Hope Margo likes that. I don't think so. What should I do? Um, let's mm. add some cheese powder. It'll fix everything. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, doesn't seem to help. Okay, let's hope Marco likes it. Oh my! My chips are ready. A little salt, <laughs> and it will turn out super good. Great. Well, and what kind of embers are these? Okay, I'll try a piece. Oh, what a horror! It's impossible to eat. And these look delicious. Mm, how yummy! Wait, are these chips all right, for sure? All right, all right. I'll take a bite. No, no, it's strange. So, Grandma's chips win! Yes. I told you! You've heard it! What? Oh, ketchup will come in handy. Yes. I want some spaghetti! Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. For sure, okay. dear. If only I knew how to cook it. Well, uh. what do I do with that? Okay, put them in a saucepan. Wait, why don't they fit? How do you cook them? Oh, come on, get in! <sighs> uh, wait. <laughs> Stupid spaghetti, I'll show you now. Uh, come on, get in! What are you doing? First, you need to turn on the stove. See? And then put the spaghetti in the water. All right, all right, all right. See? That's easy. Holy They're holy. melting in. Okay. What's the matter? Yeah, oh. you definitely don't have a chance. Hmm. Real pasta is prepared differently. We take the flour. Yes. Pour it out with a slide. Make a recess in the center. Then take the eggs. We carefully break and knead the dough. A little black dye and you'll already get an unusual pasta. It is necessary to cover the dough for a while. I'll make time for it. Let's see. Okay. What? Oh, this what? is a mess. You guys, you all can right, take out the right, dough now perfectly. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna roll it out. Just like so. And now cut it. It turns out like real Italian pasta. Now we're going to boil it. Carefully put it on a plate. Perhaps the octopus is perfect for this pasta. Let's fry it. Put it on top of the pasta and you're done. Awesome! What are you doing? Why so much ketchup? There's no such thing as too much ketchup. Oh. Wait, what's that? Andy, what are you doing? The spaghetti don't want to come out! Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. I'll get you now. Ugh. Doesn't seem to help me anymore. Oh no! Uh, my opinion, spaghetti should not look like this. Why are they so difficult to cook? Wait, what if I replace them with ready-made noodles? I can definitely hand it here. Everything. Okay, we're pouring it out. Cover it and wait a little. Ready-made noodles. Ah, uh, what a horror! These noodles are ready. Cool. Octopus, really? I 
it looks disgusting. Uh, how to eat it? Mm, it's rubbery. What? I can't even take a bite of it. Disgusting. <laughs> Spaghetti with ketchup looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm, it's so good. Hmm. Wait, noodles in a box? Interesting. Mm, it seems not bad, but… Very spicy! My mouth is burning! Funny! I look like a dragon! <laughs> so, Andy wins! Yes! <gasps> Did I win? Yeah! What does my grandson want? French fries! Great. I'll cook the most delicious potatoes. First, you need to pour the oil into the pan. And now cut the potatoes and fry them properly. Grandma, it doesn't really look like french fries. <laughs> For the best. Then I'll win this round. So, I'm going to peel the potatoes. Oh, um, it didn't work out very well. We need a special peeler. Yes! Now it's going to work. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you need to cut potatoes. One, two, and you're done. And no one makes fries in a frying pan. After all, this is a deep fryer. We put potatoes and fry it in oil. There we go. Just look at this golden crust. Great. Oh, where are my potatoes? Did I peel it all off? Mm, what do I do? Don't worry, dear. But what potatoes are without sauce? Ketchup is not for me. I'm the chef. And all the best chefs in the world cook tomato paste on their own. Well, here's a masterpiece. Perfect french fries. Everyone has already fried the potatoes and I have these skins. What do I do? I know. Why suffer if you can just order delivery? And here are the potatoes. Oh. <laughs> Homemade potatoes. French fries from the chef. Wow, so many delicious things. Except for this one. Mmm, and these potatoes look delicious. I'll try it. Oh, how spicy! I don't want spicy. What do we have here? Mmm, delicious. I like these french fries. Hooray, I won! That's it. So, so, what are we cooking now? I want scrambled eggs. Easy. Every dish should be cooked with love. Therefore, my scrambled eggs will be in the shape of a heart. You need to fry the sausages and then break the egg. It turned out just wonderful. Awesome! The bigger the fire, the faster it gets fried, right? The stove to the maximum, and now the egg. Oh, um, the shell has fallen. Maybe it'll be unnoticeable. It's even better this way. No, you can still see the shell. We need to come up with something. I'll mix it up. Oh, honey, something's obviously gone wrong. Then I'll add milk. Now you definitely can't see anything. Watch and learn. This is how real chefs cook. Down with a frying pan, we're going to need a toaster. I'll chop the onion and garlic. Then an avocado. I'll mix it all together. Great. And now I'll use a blender. It turned out great. We need to spread it on the toast. Like that. Now it's the egg time. One will be quite enough. I'll break it into a bowl. And put the bowl in a saucepan with boiling water. That's what a wonderful egg I got. It remains only to serve the dish beautifully. 
Amazing! The final touch! Like that! Wow! It turned out to be really cool! I need to serve a dish too! Ketchup and mussels will do! Honey, are you sure? Ready? We'll see, we'll see! It doesn't look good! Wow, a heart! Grandma, this fried egg is definitely yours! Down with a fork! I want to take it with my hands! Mmm, delicious! Mm. And what do we have here? It looks interesting! And the taste? Mmm, yeah, something strange! <laughs> Granny definitely won! Oh, grandson, I'm so glad! What are we going to cook this time? Pizza! Okay. Pizza? Something complicated? And how do I cook it? Probably need to knead the dough. Mm, it worked. Or not really. Oh, why is it so sticky? Well, well, I have an idea. Take my dough, dear. Thank you, Grandma. But what about you? Oh. It doesn't matter. I'll need a new dough. All you need to do is mix a few ingredients. And I'll pour the finished dough into a hot frying pan. It'll turn out to be a wonderful pizza base. Then I'll pour ketchup and add healthy vegetables. And some cheese. While there, it remains only to wait. Yeah, who cooks pizza like that? Special corn flour is needed for the base. Only professionals like me know this. Then knead the dough. And now we need to form the bases. To do this, let's fly the dough. Wow. Oh, I want it that way too. Come on, fly. Oops, it fell. Well, now it's all dirty. How to fix it? I know, a little disguise won't hurt. A little ketchup. A little bit of olives next. Pepper. And sausages. And now we can fold everything. And of course, press it down. What a nightmare. I wish I hadn't seen it. Down with the vegetables. Tomato paste, pepperoni, and cheese. Nothing superfluous. And now I'll put the pizza in the microwave. Let it bake. It will turn out incredibly good. A microwave oven? The toaster will be enough. I would like to stuff it. Mm, yeah, it didn't turn out how I expected. And I did it perfectly. However, it couldn't be otherwise. Here's my pizza. Here is mine. And my masterpiece. Well, let's try. It seems that someone wanted to poison me. This is terrible. But this looks good. I'll try it. And it tastes pretty good. Wow! Mmm, this pizza is just perfect. And the most delicious one! Who else could have won if not me? Come on! I want pancakes. I'm a pancake master. Easy. I'll make the fire stronger. Great. And now carefully pour out the dough. It is very important to turn it over on time. I don't understand why you should make a lot of small pancakes if you could just make one big one. Besides, an ordinary pancake is boring. But with gummies… It's just great. Mm. Oh, the gummies have oh. melted. Yeah, who would have thought? What? Okay, I'll make another pancake. This time with M&Ms. And another one with multicolored sprinkles. And I'll pour maple syrup on the pancakes. And they're good. Well, we must not lag behind. I know. If you add Nutella to the dough, the dough will turn out to be chocolate. The main thing is to mix well. And I'll put a piece of chocolate in the center. Great. 
The chocolate is melting right in the center. Turn it over. Wait a little. Great. Berries to decorate pancakes. And now I'll pour strawberry syrup on top. Just wonderful. It looks perfect. Ready? Baked with love. The best pancakes in the world. You like mine the most. That's what we're going to find out. Hmm. Ugh. It's disgusting. And Granny's pancakes? Mmm. Delicious. So, so. What has the chef prepared? Mmm. Great. But Grandma won anyway. Hooray! Looks like Grandma and Sister are having a great time. Well, enough distractions. It's time to find out what we'll cook. A burger? Wow! Well, are you all ready for a new challenge? Oh, Let's go! Okay. So, Grandma starts with burger buns. Yes, toasted buns are much better. Now we need minced meat. Grandma takes minced meatballs. Puts them in a frying pan. Presses down with a spatula like this. The patty is ready. Now a slice of delicious cheese and of course, what kind of burger without tomato? There's an onion and a bun on top. Wow, Grandma coped with the task so quickly. Great job, Grandma. Now it's sister's turn. It looks like the ordinary buns won't do. What, a donut? How delicious. The sister cuts the donut into two halves. Now the chocolates. How sweet it is. But sister has something else. It's sour gel. It's so delicious, but so sour. Now let's add marshmallows. A little marmalade. And berry syrup. Why not? Now we cover our miracle burger. What a beauty. It looks like grandma appreciated her granddaughter's work, but one's day is not so easy to surprise. So we start as usual with buns. Of course the black ones. Frying a patty like this. What is one's day doing with a piece of cheese? Wow, how cool this cheese looks now. A piece of cucumber. Okay. Wow, this burger seems to have a mouth with a tongue. But something is missing. It's good that next to Wednesday, there's always a hand that will help with any problem. Marmalade eyes! Hello! Looks like that what Swansea needs. Hey, careful, Grandma! The hand is completely harmless. Now let's add ice to the burger. Okay. Wow, just look at this monster. He's so scary, but still so appetizing. But which burger will be the most delicious? Now we'll find out. Margot, your turn. Oh, how hungry I am! This burger looks unusual. Let's try it! Delicious! I like it! So, what's next for us? Let's take the first bite. Ew! Is that onion? What a mess! The burger is not what you need. So, what do we have here? These are my favorite sweets! Snack on marmalade with a donut? It's to my taste. Well, it's time to choose the winner. And that is… This burger. Yes, this is our winner. Wow, congratulations to Wednesday. Um, is it just me or is she smiling? Wednesday smiling? Wow. Oops, that looks like someone was shy. It seems the sister and the hand have found a common language. Oh, it's time for the hand to go home. And it's time for our heroes to cook a new dish. Hot chocolate! Who doesn't love this delicious drink? I hope everyone is ready. Let's go. Grandma takes up cooking again. She pours milk into a saucepan. Now cacao powder. Do not forget to stir. Oh yes, a bar of chocolate will make the taste even more intense. Mm, how sweet it is. Grandma pours hot chocolate into her signature mug. Great job, Grandma. Now it's sister's turn. Hey, careful! You can eat all the chocolate like that. Yeah, 
grandma is right. Sugar needs to be added quite a bit. Like that. Oh, what is she up to? Yeah, just look at this, sweet tooth. Grandma does not approve of this amount of sugar. Okay, it's time to add milk. Be careful. Oops. Yeah, the sister clearly needs to be more attentive. So, you can add all the ingredients. Now a little dye. Wow, look at this beauty! This cream is so bright. Now a little sprinkles. That's the serving. Sister did her best. But that's not all. The final touch is whipped cream and… Some marshmallows. Look at the sweetness. Yeah, sister did her best. Perfect. Wow! Well, it's your turn, Wednesday. A suitable mug is neat here. The hand we can't do without your help here. What a horror! Grandma, you better take care of your nerves. Wednesday pours chocolate and some whipped cream. Berry syrup? Uh, great. And some Haribo marmalades. Oh yeah, look at this unique serving! Hot chocolate is ready! Hmm… Why… Oh! It's crazy! This is delicious! I like it! <gasps> oh, and moving on, this is hot chocolate from grandma! Great! Um, what is this? It looks strange, but let's try! Hmm, not bad. And the winner is… Yes! Sister, this round is for you! Well, it looks like our heroes are ready for a new challenge. What a waste them this time! Whoa, it's french fries! There are many ways to cook and serve this dish. Now we'll find out which way our heroes will choose. Of course, the potatoes need to be peeled first. What's going on? Wow, sister has chosen a very unusual way of peeling potatoes. Grandma isn't happy, but how can she be angry at her beloved granddaughter? Now you need to get the potatoes. That's it. The sister cuts potatoes with a special knife. Look at this beauty! It's time to add some color. Wow, that is so bright! Add oil. And we can set our bright potatoes to the frying pan. Great! With hot oil, you should always be extremely careful. Hey, be careful! We beautifully spread our colored potatoes on a plate. Sister got such bright french fries. Grandma prefers a more classic version of the dish. And sometimes the classic wow. version is the best, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, french fries and ketchup. This taste is familiar to everyone since childhood. What could be better? Oops. Great job, Grandma! Yeah. Okay. Well, what will surprise us this time with Wednesday? The Wednesday potatoes are already cooked. It looks like an usual serving. But wait. What is this? No! Oh no, looks like Wednesday got the sides mixed up. Grandma, you better cover your eyes. This is not a sight for the faint-hearted. So, where were we? Oh yeah, french fries. Wednesday paints potatoes black. Wow, how beautiful it is. It looks like sister appreciated Wednesday dish too. Look at her reaction. Well, <laughs> let's see what Margot thinks. Well, what do we have what? here? Whoa, is this potato a little burnt? No, okay. it doesn't taste bad. And with ketchup? <laughs> Just super. Oh, I guess I won't hold back and eat everything to the last piece. <laughs> Yummy. To the next one. Right. Well, hmm, not bad. Let's see. But it'll taste even better this way. Well, goodbye, potatoes. I'm gonna eat you. Wow! Mm, 
I think I've had a little too much, but there's still a third course. What a beautiful dish! Yeah, it's all very right, tasty. All right, all right. I can already feel it. Awesome. So good. To the last piece. Mm. Wow! Oops. Oh. <gasps> Don't worry, I'm fine. Well, guys, are you all ready for the next challenge? So let's see. Pancakes! Oh, how delicious it is! I hope our heroes know how to cook this wonderful dish. There are so many ways. Well, let's go. Grandma as always takes the cooking bit first. Carefully pour the pancake batter into the pan. Great. See the crust? You can turn it over. And this pancake is just perfect. That's what many years of experience mean. <laughs> Wednesday, what's the matter with you? Oh, it looks like you can't do without the help of a hand. Black tie? Of course. Who doubted? It's Wednesday. Look at this color. Hey, it looks like she got a little carried away. Um, okay. Let's get back to our pancakes. Wow, that's actually beautiful. Yeah, black food always looks so stylish. And what is your favorite color? Leave your options in the comments and maybe in the next video we'll do that. Meanwhile, the sister seems to have something interesting in mind. Wow, this is not a pancake anymore, but a whole piece of art. Yeah! Oh, um, somehow this color does not want to squeeze out in any way. What's the matter with you? Ouch! Oh! It was a short ride in the eye. Hope everything is alright with our sister. Yeah, everything is fine. In this case, the most important thing is not to give up despite all the difficulties, right? We're getting it. Wow, it's a unicorn! Just look at this beauty! Yeah, such moments grandma is so proud of her granddaughter. Hmm, and what about grandma? It looks like a good old recipe is waiting for us. Pancakes with butter and maple syrup. From this, salivation immediately begins to flow. I think Wednesday's pancakes are baked too. Yeah, they look unusual. Wednesday has her favorite berry syrup. And… Whoa, are those spiders? Calm down, grandma, these spiders are made out of chocolate. Well, Margo, it's time to taste the dishes of our participants. Uh, oh, what is this? Looks terrifying. Hmm, let's try the pancake. Hmm, not bad. What's next for us? Wow, how delicious! And the taste is just super. What kind of beauty is this? A unicorn! How sweet it is! And how delicious! Okay, I think I've decided on the winner. Awesome. Here it is! Congratulations, sister! You deserve the victory! <laughs> Great, let's start with cookies. Easy as pie. I'll do it. I can't promise anything, but I'll try. How to deal with it? What is the circle for? Probably unnecessary details. Oh dear, what are you doing? Look at how it's supposed to be done. Roll it in smooth movements, then count out the circles and put the blanks on a baking sheet. Get into the oven, future cookies. I can't do anything. An idea. Cookies are round, right? So you can just cut a circle out of the dough and not bother. And the most important ingredient is Kittles. I don't mind having a snack with such cookies myself. You did a good job, honey. And how are my cookies? Without exaggeration, as always, perfect. I will leave no comments. Here are my cookies. This is a work of art. The master's hand is immediately visible. Just look at what an amazing gingerbread house I have. By the way, thanks for the idea. I'll decorate the roof with Skittles. Well, the final touch. Powdered sugar. And my house seems to be dusted with a snowball. I can't believe my eyes. Darling, these are not for you. 
Oh no! Looks like a small fire! We need to get cookies urgently! Maybe it can still be saved! Oh no! There doesn't seem to be anything to be done here! And these are cookies? I'm not sure you can eat it at all! Well, well, what do we have here? Wow! A gingerbread house! So beautiful and so delicious! Mm. I think this house has one! And it couldn't be otherwise. I'm a professional. And now I want a burger. And quickly! Okay. I can do it. Although, maybe not. Is that mice meat? Oh, what an abomination! I know. Instead of this nasty mice meat, you can use a delicious and appetizing chocolate taste. It is turning out great. Perfect. How are others doing? Such perfect buns. But you need to fry them. A rubby crust will be very useful. What do you know about a ruddy crust, Grandma? One, two, and the burger is almost done. Impressive. But the most important thing in a burger is a juicy patty. I'll borrow my meat. Thanks. And now you need to put the future patty in the pan and wait a little. My goodness! Honey, what are you up to? Calm down, Grandma. I have everything under control. I just decided to fry marshmallows and add piquancy to my burger. And now it's the turn of marmalades. Roll on top and press harder. That's the whole recipe. How do you like it? Why this rivalry if I still make the most delicious burger? Just look at these patties. I'll add more bacon. There's never too much meat. And now it remains only to lay out the vegetables and cheese in layers. I agree that one layer is very boring. But if you make a lot of layers, <laughs> it'll be what you need. Yes, I'm a clear favorite here. It turned out absolutely great. Well, no, I'm not going to lose. Carefully lay out the ingredients. And now, sauces. There is no need to stint. We're doing it from the heart. What a cute <laughs> burger. A little more and I'll achieve a golden crust. Oh dear, something is not okay. Come on, Grandma, look how great I did. Ta-da! Wow, what's the size? A three-story burger is something I want to try fast. Mm, how juicy it is! Amazing! <laughs> now you, my friend. Oh, everything fell apart. What? Okay, because there's another burger. <laughs> it looks very appetizing. Let's try. Mmm, <laughs> marmalade! And Nutella! Great, but the chef's burger wins. Congratulations! Yes. Well, you know, it's not fair anymore. This time, I want nuggets. Will you be able to do it? Easy. Okay. Grandma, wake up! Look, Jennifer wants nuggets. Okay. Oh, of course. First, you need to pour a little oil into the pen. Hmm. Oh, Granny, will you share oil with me? Thanks. Strange, why isn't it pouring? Probably need to shake harder. Oh, come on! Oops, something clearly went wrong. Oh dear, who doesn't like that? Okay, the main thing is that it is delicious. And to make it always delicious, I cook with love. The chicken needs to be marinated. To do this, beat an egg, dip chicken pieces in it, and then roll them in crackers. Great. Now you can fry it. So delicious. Mmm, and what a smell. Don't you want to try it, chef? Oh um, no, I have something to do. My nuggets will be out of the highest class. They will look like pieces of gold. 
And of course, serving is also an art. It should be spectacular. Yeah! I know. When you don't want to bother with cooking, you can take a pre-made one. I'll wrap the nuggets and cheese, and then I'll make the most delicious breadcrumbs from Cheetos. To do this, I'll beat this pack well. Honey, be careful. Oh, no. Not so hard. Oh. It seems to have worked. We'll see. Yes, great. Now let's add Cheetos to the nuggets and put them in the pan. I already feel this amazing taste. Don't even want to give it to the baby. I almost forgot. Well, what kind of nuggets without ketchup? Now it is perfect. Oh my gosh! How cool it looks! Are these golden nuggets? They taste the most ordinary. Okay, I'll try the next one. Yes, I like these ones much more. But there are still some left. Red ones. Great. Mmm. There's Cheetos here, too. This is definitely the winner. Hooray! I've won!